Thanks for stopping in, Soul Traveler. It's Priestess Melissa. Blessings to you and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. You are joining me here today for your weekly reading. This is going to be with the Goddess Offset Egyptian Oracle Cards. We do this reading every single week on Sunday. And whenever you see this reading, it will be good for you for the next seven days. This will give you an overall forecast of what is to be expected if you resonate with this card and for the next seven days in every area of your life from work to love to finances. All of it comes out here and check out that uh, full moon in Libra reading from yesterday for sure to see what's going on in those energies great message coming out yesterday about perseverance you definitely want to check that out and we're going to get into this reading as well with the psychic tarot cards to see what is going on with the celtic cross spread get some general energies out we'll then get the vice versa tarot on the scene and clarify the situation we'll get some guidance and messages from the cards and then of course we will get some some love messages from our lovers oracle cards all right so thank you so much for your patience with me i'm a little tired right now i'm doing this uh actually the night before <clears throat> your reading the next day so that i can have this all ready for you all right so let us get into the energy, shall we, and see what Infinite Spirit has for us today, for this week ahead. Blessings and thank you coming off of this full moon and Libra energy. Show us ancestors, way showers, and guides what we need to know coming up for this week to be at our best. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Relax, for the priestess is here to bring your message to you. <clears throat> All right, let us get into the goddess Aset Egyptian oracle cards and see what is in the cards for this week, shall we? All right, what do you got for us, goddess Isis? Right. Whoever wants to come out for us today, let us see who it is. What is the message? Ooh. Wow, looks like a dam is about to be opened for somebody here today. This is about blessings, lots of blessings. This is the Nile River flow of abundance. Ooh, is this something that you've been hoping for today? Well, if this is about abundance in your life, this could be about anything. This could be about more love. This could be about better health, more money. What is it that you're wanting in your life today to flow more abundantly? Is it ideas? Ooh, let us get into this and see what this is all about today. There may be a lot of choices before you. <clears throat> a lot may be finally flowing in for you after a period of seeming drought. And, you know, this tends to happen. This talks about in this card 333. We'll um, talk about that. But when you tap into spirit powerfully, you can really unlock that floodgate of blessings for you today. Oh, was that 20? Yep, 25, which comes to a seven. So let's read this card today for us. Wow, what a card, right? Abundance. I don't know about you, but I've definitely been waiting for some abundance. So our card today says the River Nile was the life force energy of Egypt. It brought life in the form of water and energy to all that was barren and dry in a natural way by the annual flood. So this is something that's promised to you. All you have to do is just hang in there a little longer. The building of the Aswan Dam in recent times caused frequent flooding of the Temple of Isis or Aset, which was in danger of total destruction. So putting up a dam and blocking your blessings is not going to help you whatsoever. We got to remove that dam 444 and allow our blessings to flood in. It says that 
So it was transferred to a nearby island and rebuilt. So sometimes we have to move and rebuild once our f blessings flood in, right? Because we're no longer able to be where we once were. The god Hopi is the personification of the river Nile and he symbolizes fertility and abundance. So it is coming is what this card is saying. If you resonate with all of that, I would definitely hit the like button so you can get up on that energy and definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these awesome messages. Channeled message from Hoppy says, as the God of the Nile, I bring a constant source of abundance to all in Egypt. You bathe in me, you drink me, you travel along me, and water your crops with me. You just need to call me to you to feel my joyful energy. Not, but remember, sometimes I do overflow and cause misery. When the flooding ceases, great renewal can happen. I covered the temple of Isis, but they saved her temple. Remember, when all is lost, divine and human assistance is close by if you request it. So there is always help if you request it. That's the main key here, asking for that help if you need it today to get out of that desert, to allow that blockage, whatever that may be, to be removed. Let's see what the meaning of this card has to say for our forecast for this week. <clears throat> For abundance, it says a new flood of abundance is coming to you, even if its source is hidden from you at present. A possible lottery win. What? Go out and play the lottery for sure. Five, five, five. You could change your life. Wow. For love, it says time to nurture a present relationship. If you are alone, a new person will come along soon. So no worries. All of this is coming soon. Whatever it is for you, all of it, some of it, who knows? For working career, it says a time of slow progress and setbacks. Then great success. Allow some time before a big promotion manifests or to open your own business and flourish. So in any case, this is saying there's been a time of waiting or there's going to be a little bit more of a time of waiting, but this is definitely going to happen for you, whatever it is. If this is a working career, just know it is coming. Just keep working. For travel along the River Nile or any great river would be good. You may have to wait for the right time to travel, but you will enjoy it more later if you have to wait, all right? For health, it says swim in the river or sea or take a saltwater bath to restore your vitality and energy. Possible pregnancy, yeah, with all that water, right? But make sure that you're taking those salt baths or go swimming in a river or, you know, something of that nature. If you have a safe one and you know how to swim close by. All right. Renew your energy today. Go with that flow. For the future, go with the flow or seek peaceful resolution to your problems. What seems lost will be restored. So just know whatever seems like it may have dried up and there's nothing left to it, perhaps it's coming back. It's going to flood in is what it feels like. Something that you thought perhaps maybe even was gone. Um, this could be a person perhaps too, but in any case, just know that all is not lost came in there. Your abundance is flowing in. Allow it to remove those blocks and dams. What are those possible blocks or dams that we could be having in our lives today that could be flooding our temple? You know what I mean? Flooding us and keeping us from our abundance. Wow, interesting energies today with all of this. A lot of emotions around it for sure. This is what we want to see flooding in. Fulfillment of wishes for sure. And temptation. What is this temptation we're having to turn away from? So that maybe that is the block, if you will, 
Ooh, but I feel whatever it is, perhaps we are going to have triumph over it. And that is beautiful to see on the bottom there today. Now we're going to have to put our thinking cap on and turn that up in the right way. Perhaps we're not listening to spirit in some way. And that is causing this block that we're having, this mental block, perhaps, that's allowing our heart to tap into whatever this is patience and planning. All right. This is maybe where we're at in the process. We've been putting in that work. We've put in, been putting our plan into action even, but there's something we're not seeing. There's a piece that's missing, I feel, to the puzzle with this crown chakra in reverse in the center. That is keeping us that one piece, perhaps, from that victory that we've been seeking from unlocking all of that emotional withdrawal in the past. So we've definitely taken some time out to try to look into the situation and try to feel out what is going on here is what I'm thinking is going on here. We've been trying to tap into spirit because we're not seeing the results that we want to see with this firm foundation and the reverse in our mind. This is how we're seeing the situation. But again, maybe that's where the problem is, is in our mind and how we're seeing things, right? Again, maybe this is how we need to be seeing the situation already, even though it may not be that way just yet, that we do have that success. It is your destiny is what Spirit is saying here today. It is your destiny to move forward, to move past whatever has caused this block, this emotional block right in your heart because the heart is all about water that is what's going to un unlock all of this we've got to unlock our heart whatever this is that has caused us to be able to you know stop us from being able to move forward towards our destiny you know if this is someone that we have lost a love or something of that nature or if it is something that we've been working towards our foundation, you know, that we know perhaps is our destiny, it just hasn't been happening yet. And we're just like, what is the deal here? I have definitely been in that place, you know, when I've been in a place of manifesting and uh, bringing in my abundance, it, you know, I'm just like, what is the deal? I don't understand. And this may be you today, not understanding what's going on. Queen of Cups in reverse. We've got the Knight of Wands. And then we've got the Lovers in reverse. So definitely, this has something to do around your heart energy. It's affecting your mind. I feel like your emotions are coming to play in this. Even though you're trying not to cause to allow that to happen i feel like you definitely are doing a lot of reflecting right now with the crane right there right so this is i feel like you're more in your heart space and this is the energy that you're focused on perhaps trying to fo be focused on moving forward but maybe there <clears throat> still is this energy around you <clears throat> Ooh, throat chakra blocking up blocking up because perhaps there is a situation where you see that maybe you need to turn your back on something, but you haven't just yet, right? Um, something that, you know, it's causing a lot of blockages in your mental space is what I'm going to say to this situation, whatever this is, you know, that's blocking you. It's You're being told to take the blindfold off about this situation that you truly, actually, really understand what's going on here, what's causing you to not be able to see your success, um, what's blocking your energy, if you will, patience and planning. Yep, what it is, whatever it is, it's keeping you from moving forward to your abundance. You're being held back from some love situation, uh, definitely, you know, but you're turning your back on this is what I feel or you're trying to because I feel like you're seeing that this is having an effect on what it is that you're trying to create and build. Yeah, absolutely. The Spirit's trying to help you here today to turn all that around with that Ace of Pentacles energy. That's the hand of God reaching up today to help you to bring all these plans to fruition that perhaps, you know, haven't been able to come to fruition just yet that you've been working so hard on emotional withdrawal in the past what is this about 
Yeah, this is something where somebody was breadcrumbing you for sure, wasn't giving equally. And with this eight energy, you definitely had to go within and you had to try to understand what had happened in this situation. Perhaps this was around love. I'm not sure just yet. Oh yeah. Knight of Cups in reverse. So somebody was definitely filling your head. It feels like, you know, full of these ideas that maybe you could take over the world together, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? And so you've really had to go within in this situation. It feels like and look at why did you give your power away? You know? And in the end, having to move to calmer waters and learn from this situation, walk away from something that, you know, maybe it's taken you a while to be able to do so, but I feel like you are starting to pull your energy back more. Firm foundation in the reverse. So we have the 10 of cups and this is in reverse. So, you know, this situation I believe is on your mind, this situation that didn't come to fruition, this Ace of Cups here, she's in reverse, right? So it's like you didn't see that happy ending, that happily ever after, this Knight of Cups energy, you know, that's that knight in shining armor, right? Didn't quite turn out that way. That person, you know, seemed to always be eluding you and feeding you these, you know, illusions, if you will, and you had to really go within to try to understand what really happened here, right? And it feels like this person really had a lot of control over the finances too. Oh yes, absolutely. This devil energy coming out here today, definitely toxic energy, definitely energy that you can't build with, you know? You're never going to see that happy ending with this person is what I'm feeling like. And this, yep, Knight of Wands energy in reverse. This is definitely energy that is keeping you in this state of mind and in this space. This is what you keep thinking about is what this is saying. This, you know, situation that has not turned out good whatsoever. What's this destiny energy? I'm curious to see. Yeah, look at this. Five of Pentacles, being left out in the cold. I'm feeling like more emotionally, you know, like your um, self-esteem. You never quite feel good with this person. Always feeling defensive and things of that nature. Destiny and feeling defensive like you're blocking yourself, really, is what I feel. Yeah. Ten of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. You're blocking yourself. It's like you're killing your own dreams by perhaps, you know, the people that you're um, working with. And look at this guy. He's not very happy. He's not getting the results that he wanted. Certainly, if you see in this Ten of Swords energy, right? Uh, yeah, this is not your destiny, though. But this is your destiny. If you continue to go in this direction, I feel like you're going to continue to have to learn lessons and, you know, maybe there's people gossiping and whispering about, oh, they could have done so much, you know, but, you know, spirit is trying to help you today to raise from, rise from this, you know, situation to be that Phoenix and to go out into the world and allow yourself to really flow and be who you truly are. You really are this, every one of us have the ability to tap into this magnificence, but we have to be careful about who we give our power away to. You know, we have to be careful that people aren't filling our heads with fantasies and making us think that, you know, we can do so much with them when maybe we can do so much more by ourselves, you know. Uh, hit the like button if you're resonating with this reading today or any part of it, you know, if you're ready to take your power back and allow yourself to feel like you're more in the flow of who you are, tap back into your abundance and see what you can actually create. What are, what is some advice from our guardian angels moving forward with this message today? Guardian angels, show us what we need to know. Miracle. Ooh, I like that. You ready for a miracle today? Hit the like button if you are. Here is your message. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work to, through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. 
all heals in the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. And you are about to unlock that floodgate of those miracles and blessings if you're ready to do so today. And I know I am, so hit the like button if you are. All right, Lover's Oracle, let us see what the love messages are coming out for us. Guidance from the Lover's Oracle. Yeah, be careful where you uh, plan, who you plan, who you make your moves with. Do you know what I mean? Make sure they've got your back and they're not trying to stick a knife in it is all I'm trying to say. Um, I think we all have to be careful of that as we move up the uh, abundance chain, if you will. Would you agree with me there? All right. So be aware of those around you. Be aware of your own energy so that you can have that natural protection in place, too, against those people who would try to harm you. Lovers Oracle, what are the messages today? see what this message is and this is power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time so make sure you use your power wisely because you're growing and building quite a bit right now look at all of this on this tree time you are trying too hard Give it time. So if this is about a love situation today, maybe you need to draw back your power, all right? Allow divine timing to work on all of this because if this is what's blocking you today, blocking your blessings, you know, <clears throat> you don't really want to be held back from any of your blessings, whether they be spiritual. And, you know, the spiritual ones, honestly, are going to unlock all of the blessings for you are going to bring these situations into your life that are not difficult, that are not power struggles, perhaps. All right, guys, because we're here to build together, and we're here to use that power wisely with the eye of Ra there today. The eye is always watching, right? That inner eye. You know what to do. You know what's best for you. So take back your power and walk away if that's what you need to do. Blessings to my soul travelers out there, and I look forward to seeing you again soon for another reading. Bye for now.